Torpedoes pack a serious punch. They're like underwater missiles, designed to take out ships, submarines, or even land targets near the coast. Then there's the element of surprise. See, torpedoes can be fired from submarines and move underwater, which makes them hard to detect until it's too late. It's like a sneak attack from below, catching the enemy off guard. And let's not forget about range. These things can travel for miles, way farther than your regular naval guns. So, you can hit targets that are way out there in the deep blue. Plus, they give the Navy a lot of flexibility. If you're dealing with a pesky enemy fleet, torpedoes can help level the playing field, giving you a shot at taking them down. Just like the Germans did with their U-boats, which relied heavily on torpedoes to sink enemy ships. India has its own indigenously built heavyweight torpedo. It is the only torpedo in the world that has a GPS-based locating aid. The use of GPS-based locating technology in a torpedo, like the Varanastra, is game-changing. GPS technology allows the torpedo to accurately target enemy vessels or installations. However, GPS signals are not effective underwater due to the attenuation of radio waves in water. Therefore, a GPS-enabled torpedo would primarily rely on other guidance systems. The GPS component is most useful for providing accurate initial targeting information before the torpedo is launched, as well as for providing a more precise location for mission planning and post-mission analysis once the torpedo surfaces or reaches the vicinity of the target. For example, if a naval force wants to target a specific enemy ship in a fleet, the torpedo can be programmed with the ship's GPS coordinates. This can potentially minimize collateral damage to nearby vessels or the environment. This is especially important in scenarios where the target is near civilian vessels or sensitive areas. If there are any deviations or obstacles in the way, the torpedo's guidance system can make necessary course corrections to reach its destination. The torpedo can also provide real-time feedback to the launching platform, allowing for better situational awareness and potentially enabling adjustments to the overall tactical plan. While torpedoes that are not equipped with GPS are solely made for destroying ships and submarines, GPS-equipped torpedoes could potentially be used for search and rescue missions. They could be launched to locate and mark the position of a downed pilot or a distressed vessel. However, using a torpedo with a warhead for search and rescue operations would not be practical or safe. The warhead could pose a serious risk to any potential survivors or distressed vessels in the area. Furthermore, recovering a torpedo after it has been launched, especially in a search and rescue context, would be a complex and challenging task. In extremely desperate and unusual situations, it's theoretically possible to repurpose a torpedo for a search and rescue mission, but it would be an extraordinary measure and not a standard practice. The Varanastra is designed and manufactured by India's Naval Science and Technological Laboratory in collaboration with BART Dynamics Limited. Varanastra employs a 26-kilometer long guidance wire divided between two spools. These wire spools feature a twin-core copper cable wound in a manner that ensures swift and seamless unreeling. The submarine version of the torpedo is set to undergo test firings with some minor adjustments like a fiber optic channel and will feature an improved front-end seeker. Fiber optics can transmit large amounts of data quickly and reliably, allowing for high-resolution guidance and control, and are immune to electromagnetic interference. 
It was officially inducted into the Indian Navy's service in 2016 and is intended for deployment from surface ships. With a high explosive warhead weighing 250 kilograms, the Varanastra boasts a range of more than 50 kilometers and can reach a maximum depth of 600 meters. Its electric engine, powered by silver oxide zinc batteries, enables speeds of up to 40 knots. This torpedo showcases a range of cutting edge features. Equipped with an active passive acoustic homing system, which allows the weapon to track and engage targets by utilizing sound waves in the underwater environment. In active mode, the torpedo emits its own acoustic signal, often referred to as a ping. This sound wave travels through the water and upon hitting an object, bounces back as an echo. The torpedo's sensors then detect this echo and use it to calculate the distance and bearing to the target. In passive mode, the torpedo listens for sounds already present in the environment, such as the noise generated by a target vessel's engines or other underwater disturbances. By analyzing these ambient sounds, the torpedo can determine the direction and distance to the target. Its low-drift inertial navigation system ensures exceptional accuracy over extended distances, even in acoustically challenging underwater environments. It has minimized error accumulation, because in an inertial navigation system, there can be small errors in the measurements made by accelerometers and gyroscopes. Over time, these errors can accumulate, leading to a loss of accuracy in determining the weapon's position. A low-drift inertial navigation system is designed to minimize these errors, ensuring that the calculated position remains accurate over extended periods. Moreover, an inertial navigation system is self-contained. It doesn't require communication with external sources, making it more resilient to scenarios where GPS signals may be unavailable or intentionally disrupted. The torpedo incorporates a conformal array transducer, granting it a wider field of view compared to conventional torpedoes. This innovation enhances its effectiveness in tracking and engaging targets. Additionally, Veranastra boasts advanced autonomous guidance algorithms, enabling it to adapt to diverse combat scenarios. Safety is prioritized, with the inclusion of an insensitive warhead, significantly reducing the risk of accidental detonation. This feature enhances the torpedo's reliability during transportation and deployment. With these advanced capabilities, the Varanastra stands as a significant asset in India's naval defense capabilities. Currently, Varanastra is a ship-based torpedo, but DRDO is also working on a submarine version. This development will enable the Indian Navy to have its own systems for its submarines without relying on foreign suppliers.